Seriously, you could have at least a little bit of decency to reply to me. Just that. Just tell me you're going to be like half an hour. I don't care. There's always that one moment where you're walking down the road and you see one person at the end of the road and you know what's going to happen here. You know what's going to happen next. They're walking along, their phone's out like this and they don't have a clue what's going on around them. So oblivious. You keep walking, you move left and you end up that they move left as well and you're like, no, you don't want to keep. So you keep bouncing back and forth, back and forth until you meet in the middle and you just want to go, move. You want to move them out of the way and you just want to keep walking past and just say, no, leave me alone. That moment when you have made plans with your friends, but for some unknown reason, they have decided to not turn up at the correct time. You've turned up, you've got your life together, you've sorted yourself out, you're waiting there, you've texted them, they've read it, they've read the message. Have they replied? No. No, they haven't. So you're still stood there. I mean, what can they possibly do in? I mean, are they in bed still? Okay, so maybe they're still in bed and they're gonna be like five minutes. Maybe they're having a poo, I don't know. I mean, are they painting a bloody picture? Like, seriously, you could have at least a little bit of decency to reply to me. Christ. That moment when you see people spitting in public, it's just, and particularly people who smoke, and they do the whole coughing up, they're coughing up lungs, bowels, their whole stomach, their whole internal organ system just ready to come out on the floor and I just, I hate it. I hate the noise. <coughs> <coughs> but, ugh, no, yuck. That moment when someone behind you starts coughing and they're not covering their mouths and it's like, I don't know what diseases you have, I don't want to know, but I'm about to find out. And, you know, it's, it's worse when they just don't stop. They break out into a coughing fit. And, you know, if, if you're not gonna cover your mouth, I'll cover it for you. You know, I'll break out a roll of my finest gaffer and I'll tape it shut for you. That moment when people hand you flyers in town, um, walking through town, and all of a sudden someone's getting in your face, trying to hand me a piece of useless paper. I don't need that in my life whatsoever. I might have headphones in. Like, if I've got headphones in, that means I don't really want to speak to you. I don't want any interaction with the outside world, thank you very much. And with that bit of paper, I'm going to scrunch it up, shove it in your mouth. I don't need it. Just don't give it to me. That moment when you see couples in public doing PDA, just ugh, like when they're touching each other, feeling each other's hair and stroking each other's legs and just little kisses on their face. It's just like, you want to go up to them and just, no, that's why you have houses, that's why you have your own privacy, do that, save it there, because I don't want to see it. I don't want to chuck up my lunch because you guys love each other too much, you know? That moment when you're going through town and you see that person with a selfie stick and it doesn't matter who it is, you can be a girl or a boy or 14 or 40, it doesn't matter, you are a fool for putting that much distance between you and your phone. Anyone could just come up and just snatch it out. Honestly, every person I see with that, I just want to grab it and just beat them within an inch of their life with it. Oh.